Catherine, it's lovely to be with you again and to learn more about your soul power kinesiology and specifically the color and the power of the colors that you use, how that uh, the results that you've got with, with clients. Mm, tell mm. me about that. Okay. So um, I actually understand and know the power of color healing and color therapy because I use it in my life all the time. And one of the examples I'd like to share, because it's very common in our world, especially today, is that from time to time I've had my teenage grandchildren come and stay with, stay with us for a short period of time. And one of the examples of my granddaughter came home one day from school and she was really upset and she didn't want to talk about it. And I said, well... How are you? What's, go what's going on? Tell me about it. And she said, I don't know. That's exactly how she said it. <laughs> and she couldn't put into words what she was feeling. But she was obviously out of sorts and went into a bedroom and was sitting in there very um, upset. So um, I said to her, would you like to pick a colour? And she chose this colour, which um, compared to the blue, is actually more of a turquoise than a blue. Yes. yes. So um, she chose this colour. And turquoise is about expressing your heart, expressing from your heart. And we put it about her, and I squirted it in the room as well, just for good measure. <laughs> and... Um, We'd been up, you know, putting it on. So we just apply it like this around our self. We squirt a little in our hand and then just put it around us and it just evaporates into our aura and actually surrounds us in a bubble of turquoise, in this case, turquoise. And so we were standing up doing it and she sat down on the bed and she went little, 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 and started talking and told me all of the problems and she could express what she was feeling. And it was so healing for her to be able to share what was going on. And I'm sure it was the turquoise. Without that, I, she would have probably still been sitting there upset. So turquoise is very lovely for um, people who can't express themselves and who need to do that. And there's so much um, anxiety around in our world today. And, you know, we, we know that if people with anxiety can just share what they're feeling, um, it's so healing. So turquoise is the colour for that. It's also the colour of artists and people who are expressing from the heart artistically. And so... Um, musicians who would put it around, they're playing, their music that they play has a different quality. And so um, often people will choose this colour and I say, oh, do you do um, art or creative work in any way? And either they do or they say, no, but I've really wanted to. And so it means that that creative expression is really important for their soul. And again, going back to doing what it is that you're here to do, your soul purpose. So um, it's very powerful, the turquoise. How good. Yeah, so another colour I'd like to share with you is this. It's called our physical rescue bottle. And you can see that it's blue on the top, but at the bottom it looks almost black, doesn't it? Yeah. But we call that colour deep magenta. And um, I'll just put a candle behind it, and you can see the colour. It's not black at all. It actually is what we call deep magenta. And you can see it's violet magenta colour. Okay. And it's very, very beautiful. Uh, and, but we have a number of bottles with this deep magenta base and we call them our rescue bottles, set of rescue bottles. And that one is blue, is, um, is calming and cooling and magenta is divine love. 
So what it's doing is calling on the divine love for cooling and calming. And it can be physically if we've got an um, you know, feeling um, over-energized or over tight, but it can also be emotionally. And this cup bottle is very powerful. I've used it when I burn myself on the stove. When we moved to our current house for the first time, I had gas to cook on and I never was used to it. And I quite often caught myself a little bit and I would put that oil on um, once I'd cooled it down with water, cold water, and then I put the oil on and I would never have any blistering or burns evident. It would just stop it from um, getting any worse or, you know, developing into a, a problem. And um, I have a friend who took her mother to England on a trip of a lifetime, but her mother was in her 80s. And when she was disembarking from the plane in London, she slipped on the last few stairs and, and damaged her leg. And all it was starting to swell and bruise. And um, my friend had this in her, in her pocket, or in her toolkit of first aid. <laughs> and she put it on her mother um, when they got back to the hotel or wherever they were staying. And covered all the areas that had been damaged. And her mother was ready to carry on the next day and she had no evidence of bruising and no swelling and was able to perform all the planned activities that they had, which I'm sure without the help of the physical rescue, um, she would have you know, possibly been a few more days to recover from that. So it's a very powerful little bottle. I had one of my students um, had a little child that woke up one night with earache, crying. And the mother put a few drops of that oil in the child's ear and immediately they stopped crying. And the next day when they woke up, there was no earache and it just had totally gone. So it's a very powerful little bottle <laughs> and a lovely remedy to have in the house. Mm. Oh, that's nice. And you also use these with animals, not just with people, but animals. Yes, that's right. And um, I've used um, the orange with um, animals. And um, I um, have, have applied it down. Um, I had a horse that was loaned to my daughter and me, um, when we were living in the country for a few for a few, short while, and um, but it had a limp, and so the what the little girl who owned it used to jump show jump, and it was a very good little horse, but it had this limp if it was ridden for any length of time, and that came from the show jumping, and so my daughter was so thrilled to have a horse that we, um, I put the orange along the spine and down the leg of the horse where the, um, where the uh, injury, well, there was no apparent injury, but the leg that limped. And um, to my horror, actually, some welts rose up on her rump area. And I thought, oh my gosh, I better stop applying the oil. I did. She must be reacting to it. But the welts were in like three big long strips on her rump. And they even started to weep. Anyway, I got so concerned, I rang England um, and talked to um, a friend over there who was very experienced in colour. And um, they said to me that what it would have been doing was release the trauma that that horse had had that had caused that limping. And the horse had been whipped there. And that was the trauma that had been the original um, um, problem mm. that was to get over the jumps. And so um, whipping it actually had caused a problem of the limp. So it's quite amazing. And animals do respond very quickly. I must say that I stopped applying that and that they, um, 
the the welts went away, and um, what what I, what happened was that the trauma is held at a body level, and the orange allowed it to be re released so that that horse no longer had that held that trauma held in the cellular memory, so it released the cellular memory of that whipping. And it's it's so amazing. I just continually amazed at how, how wonderful these colours are. Catherine, yeah. do you feel mm -hmm. open to speak about how the oils? How, how did you create them? How, where, or did you find them already made? Or what's the origin? Okay, so these oils came, they're called unicorn oils, and they came from Trevor Cooper, who is in Australia, and he um, made them, um, and he had a history working in England with Orosoma, and um, they were one of the colour therapy schools in, in England, and he was working there until the originator of those, and they were making essences. And when the woman who was making them died, he went back to Australia and he combined with a kinesiologist and a homeopathic chemist who had, the homeopathic chemist had been making homeopathic colour remedies over the last number of years. And the three of them created these, what we now call unicorn essences. So um, they're very, very powerful. And um, Tony is very elderly now, and so he is um, passing on his knowledge to other people who will make them. Oh, what a gift. Mm. Absolute gift. On your website, do you have information there that people could go and and you know, perhaps have a problem or have a feeling in their body, know that something's not right and find which oil it is that they, or colour that they require? Yes, so um, we have a, a shop on the website and that website has the photographs of all of the coloured essences that you see behind me. Um, and if you click, if you the thing is, if you click on a colour that you're drawn to, that you like the look of, and that you're drawn to energetically, it will be a colour that relates to you in some way. And if you click on that bottle on the website, it will come up with the meaning of those, that bottle and how it would help you. And it gives you a really good insight into what's going on with you. Whenever I'm not feeling well, I look at my colours and I choose a colour and then I look at the meaning of that colour and it helps me to know and understand what I'm going through and also what I need to do to get through. And um, then you can use the colours. You don't have to purchase a bottle, although you can do that. But um, you can also surround yourself with those colours, with either flowers or gemstones or draw um, a picture with pencils or crayons or felts, whatever you choose, using those colours. And um, art therapy is very powerful as well. So something that's a favourite of mine is to draw a circle and then make a pattern within it with the two colours. And you're making a mandala that is a healing mandala for you for those colours. And it's a very lovely way to assimilate the colours. That is absolutely fascinating. The work that you do, the beautiful opportunities that you give to people to heal their traumas and their past traumas and to be able to have more freedom in their life because of the gentleness of colour. I'm going to make sure that your website is put onto the, onto the video and this will go on the YouTube channel and also <clears throat> be available on the Personal Development School website of the International Kinesiology College. Catherine, thank you so much for being with me today. Thank you. Thank you, Sylvia.